Probably get warmed up with the dumbbells, like we usually do. Uh, and then hit some, some barbell rows for a little back day. Uh, I think that'll be good. But let's get warmed up. What were we doing yesterday? Arms and shoulders. Feel that. Can feel that a little bit. Another little late morning workout means that we get to enjoy some nice, warm, sunshiny California weather for the workout. It's nice. With the shirt, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Oh man. Try to get warmed up. Yeah, we'll do some barbell rows for a bit. And then if we feel like we can swap over to T-bar row. That could be a fine way to do it. And then we'll hop on uh, the games, probably around four today. Get ready for some new world war. Knock out the war. And we'll see what's up after that. See what's up. Well, we, we gotta defend Everfall today. When is the invasion for Brightwood? Because we need to make sure, we gotta, we gotta pay attention to, like, who declares on Brightwood. Because I, I don't know if Ruin can declare, but that's kind of what I, what I think would be ideal is for Ruin to declare on Brightwood. That would be good. That way we can fight in the war. Try to win them ruin or win ruin in Brightwood. Let's see. Glad to have you here, Ren. Yeah, I'm doing some some back today. Is the main plan. So some barbell rows and stuff. Maybe some shrugs. Maybe some T-bar run. But the main work today. We'll be slinging this bar around a little bit. Airfall invasion. That's seven. Okay. The war is at four, and the invasion is at seven. When's the Brightwood invasion? Because the Brightwood invasion is the one thing that's stopping somebody from declaring. Oh, it's tonight at seven. Okay. All right. We'll have to see what happens with old Brightwood. Okay, so tonight is seven. We'll see who can declare on that thing. Yep. Aeroball War is at 4.30 my time. Gotcha. Yep. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Good to know. Because once the invasion is over, <clears throat> Green will be able to declare war. And I'm not sure who gets most of the pushing, but I think that uh, we won't ruin to be able to declare. So that's good to know. Okay. Can you do like a uh, full range of motion and calf raise, like this kind of thing? Like where you can, you can find something to stand on and kind of stretch out your, your legs. You can do calf raise with that too. Something to practice. But I mean like, you know, stretching like this is good, you know? It's getting your, getting your ankles kind of used to doing that kind of thing, but I find that that other thing is kind of a better stretch for my 
my like ankle mobility there. But yeah, you got, you're gonna have to work on it like anything else, right? It's gonna be like a put time into it over a long period of time kind of thing, right? He's got to work on the whole lower, lower body with Woody Gotcha. Yeah. That's all right. Put on the list. One second. Hmm. Let's see. Huh. I can do something real quick. Okay, I do to see it now. Got it now. Okay, one second. Got a few things going on here. Sorry, we got some business to attend to briefly. Sorry. Okay, that's all we really needed. All right, cool. Back to work. The office following me to the gym, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, trying to get warmed up a little bit. At least it's uh, nice and warm outside this time of day. That's very nice. So in instance, instance, I'm not sure what the instance is. They're, they're, they're like the vinyl shorts, I believe. What do I call them? The vital. That's really beautiful, beautiful. Heart rate isn't really what I'm concerned about with these workouts. <laughs> it's more a muscle activation thing, so. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, we'll be here for a bit. We'll be here for a bit. We got a little bit of work to do. Five minutes into the video, okay. 
Just want to let you know, so when I sent you the OBS clips, I'm probably just gonna do some quick edits on those on my own. I'll just, I'll just throw them together. You can work on like a montage kind of thing if you want. Looks like some highlights, some plants. Some good demo exercises. And the same thing I'm doing with the row. You can do the dumbbells with the barbell. Same kind of thing. You know, just pulling your elbows like back and down. It's got to involve the back a bit. Mm. I might do some some hex bar shrugs today. Think about it. I'm just gonna use all the arena, like all the longer arena sessions. I'll probably just quick edit all those, just so you know. Yeah. Well, Havocus, spoiler alert, that was that was the, our first attempt, Havocus. That was our first attempt. So. Spoiler alert. We're, we still have some catching up to do to get to get current with the with all the videos of New World. Oh. That's fine, Quaylen, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Definitely. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just, I'm just letting you know what my plan is. That's fine. Thinking about it real quick. Okay. Yeah, the uh, Lost Ark stuff is doing pretty well on YouTube. That's great. Glad to see that. Content pumping. Thanks for 20 months, man. Keeping it rolling. Not dropping a month. What a beast. Thank you, man. Good to see you, dude. Appreciate the prime. Yep. 
Yep. Oh. Trying to get at least back on the schedule with short gym streams. Just in here for a little bit, but it is what it is. Archer having this little cold, it's sticking around, so definitely throws off our normal rotation, our normal schedule a bit, so it's kind of like, just rolling with it. That's how it goes. We'll go to the gaming stream later. Just roll with it. It's all good. That's how it goes. But we should be able to get a little bit of rose. Maybe a little bit of hex bar in today. Some shrows. And I'll do some... Do some benching tomorrow with my dad, probably. We're coming down for a visit, so that'll be fun. Just keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Uh. Get, get a few of these going. They do. I mean, it, those coughs stick around with me for a while. <laughs> yeah. Happens. <laughs> Fair enough, Quaylen. Triple workout. Oof. That was rough. How long have you been dieting now? I've only been at this for a while. I probably should have put a 25 on. Well, I got 10s here, never mind. You better get on stage, huh? I mean, you, you like, you may as well, man. You may as well. At this point, if you're, if you're doing this this long and intense strenuous of a diet, you may as well just hop on stage just for fun. Doing it just for a fun shoot. I may as well. Just hop on. Hop in and show. Have some fun. Yeah. Yeah. Like it for muscle now? If you're doing all this dieting, go ahead and compete now. You're not going to be this lean again for a while. Just go do it just for fun. Well, he's not doing the pro bodybuilding, no. I don't think... Uh, I'm encouraging him to bodybuild. He's just, he's just getting lean for some photos. I'm encouraging him to do it. If you're going to get that lean, put this much time and effort into dieting, you may as well get on stage. Just for, just for fun. Ugh. Just for fun. Yep. Just to see what it's like and celebrate it. Celebrate your work. Yeah, you may as well go and do it. Muscle Beach is a fun environment. 
But I think I'm about 205 right now, too. Just kind of mailing it in. Hitting maintenance and. Is what it is. Is what it is. I tend to do some shoulder things. Kind of a wasted month of the off season, unfortunately, this this past couple weeks. But from a bodybuilding perspective, from a content creation perspective, it's been good. It's been great, but a bit of a wasted wasted month of the off season, unfortunately. When you get leaner, it definitely can be tougher to lift this heavy. It can be. I feel like skinny fat right now. <laughs> That's how I feel, it's funny. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do some little shoulders over here. I'll set that up in a second. Dieting for like bodybuilding and dieting for cutting weight for fighting are two different processes. <laughs> a lot of times, I think the cutting for for like boxing and stuff, cutting weight is different because you do it a lot faster and then you gain the weight back when you rehydrate and stuff. For bodybuilding, it's a little bit different. A much slower process, Ugh. at least for me. months to a year cut yeah so cutting for a whole year that, that's that's a long time to be dieting for sure yeah I don't know any sauna sweatsuits <laughs> that's for damn sure uh, plus thing of that is just like going going for a walk out in the sun in the summertime Yeah. 
Like, if you're in the higher end, yeah, it might, it'll take some time. That's still good work, though. That's good that you didn't do it too fast, either, right? I mean, that's good work, for sure. Being a heavyweight fighter, right? Yeah, sure. Did you can sit more around 190? Yeah, 190 would be a little bit uncomfortable for me. That'd be, that's, you know. That's not a whole lot of food for me to be 190. So. Once I start dipping into the 190s, it's like, that's probably enough for now, dieting wise, unless I'm trying to get serious. I'm 5'11. So, not quite 6'2. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to stay a little leaner this bulk so it's not as top of a diet down, but I do want to make some gains. Just nice and slow. Yeah. Okay, let's give up. Who, me? Well, that's not exactly what I'm saying. That's what I'm gonna try not to get too, uh, too crazy with the bulk this time around. Gotta stay a little leaner on the bulk. So, a lean bulk is pretty much what I'm attempting to do, yeah. Or it's a smaller surplus rather than a really high surplus. Or you gain a lot of weight. Not all of it quality. Oh, do I bulk for? Well, ideally I bulk until I compete again. TRT? No. I'm good. No reason for that. I am good. No reason to start doing that. I mean, I'm a. I compete in natural bodybuilding. That's what my pro qualification is, is in natural bodybuilding, so. TRT would disqualify me from that, but I also just don't need it, right? My hormones are a perfectly healthy place, so no reason to do that. How do you manage mood swings with food? I mean, I think I just like get, I'm just a little, just a little more tired usually. TRT disqualifies you? Yeah, I mean, you're taking exogenous hormones. You're 52, it's curious, yeah, I'm 31, so I'm, I'm still in a healthy range. I mean, I'm doing fine. But if you're curious about it, I mean, if, you're, if your exercise, your diet, and your sleep are like bang on, but you're still, you know, curious about how you're doing, you can go to a doctor and see if you're still in a healthy range, and if you're not, you can consider going that route. Tiny, thanks for the primate, big flex this seven months, but I'd recommend that you not go that route unless you need it. But I try to eat foods that I like so that it's not like red lighting my discipline constantly. I mean, yeah, you might want to talk to a doctor if, if your testosterone isn't where it should be for a healthy range. And if you're not trying to, you know, 
compete in natural bodybuilding, then you may as well, you just, after your health and, and your hormones are not looking too good, then yeah, go, go see what you can do about it. But, I mean, if, if you're exercising well and eating well and sleeping well, that's one thing. But if you're not doing those things, then maybe do that first before you start taking exogenous testosterone because your body, you know, it's gonna be like a lifelong decision at that point, right? So. But yeah, I don't know, I don't really get real mood swingy. I just think I just get a little, little tired, maybe have less patience sometimes. Comes around, yeah. How much weight are you losing per week? It's not good for your helmet. It just has artificial sweetener. That's all. That's why it's sweet. All right, like super lips on me. There we go. Two pounds this week. If you're, if you're getting all bent out of shape at the end of the week, I would eat a little more. You don't need to lose the two pounds a week. You can, you can eat a little bit more calories and feel a little better. That'd be a fine adjustment to make, especially if you're already 180. Right? Oh, okay. I'll talk to your trainer about that. Bump your calories up a little bit. You could be eating a whole 3,500 more calories per week and still losing a pound a week, right? I mean, that would probably make a difference in your day, right? 500 extra calories a day, another whole meal a day. That could make a difference. For the long haul. And it's fun to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you could add a whole 3,500 calories and still lose a pound a week, which is fine. Exclamation mark fat loss. Big sigh. Yeah. Yep. And 2,500 free trim. Sort of piloting YouTube series and be at the end. Oh, I do that with bodybuilding. <laughs> I'm not as interested in piloting right now. <clears throat> I'll try to get stronger. Ready for the work? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We'll tear it up today. We'll tear it up today. And if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can check out our sponsor Diverge up there. Pick them out. Well, thanks, pal. Do what I think, man. Yeah, get back in there, gremlins. That sucks, man. Oh, you got hurt. You got this, though. You got this. Our back and shoulders. Uh, mine are fine. My, my left shoulder is a little bit weird, but uh, mostly fine. Back's good. But I, I train pretty conservatively, because that, that kind of helps, I guess. Thanks so much for the five hundred subs. Big flex for you. A big flex for all five of those subbies. Thank you. You're 44 of the most muscle mass you ever had? That's awesome to hear. That's what I want to do. I want to be like you when I grow up. And Jack, thank you for the 15 months as well, dude. 
Big flex for you too. What's up, Amy? Is there anything I can do for my buddies who are coming home with their newborn that would be helpful for them? Making some easy, healthy, frozen meals, that's good. Um, yeah, meals would be good. In anything that saves them time. Because they're either going to be like super focused on the BB and trying to sleep, that's like the main thing. Good thing, Quaylen. That was good. How do you measure muscle mass versus fat? Like how do I or how does one? I mean, you can get like different measurements and stuff. But I think generally, I mean like, getting stronger and weighing more without getting a whole lot more body fat is one way to do it. Try quest bars? Yeah, we used to have quest bars in the past, yep. Yep. If you're saying about the same, probably around maintenance, yeah. But 2400 doesn't sound like a maintenance, most likely, for a 6'2 active person. That's pretty, that's pretty low calories, if you ask me. I would disagree that a new child is easy. <laughs> Only doing a meal a day? Then you're probably more eating 24 calories. That's that's not ideal. The things that you have to do for a newborn might be relatively simple, but I don't know about easy. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, like, I don't know how cool you are, but yeah, man, if, you, if you wanted to keep on the baby while they took a nap, that'd be pretty awesome. But I just don't know how how close you guys are. But yeah, if you, if you can find a way to get, save them some time or get them some sleep, that's that's pretty awesome. Oh. Best friend who lived less than 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Maybe offer to get them a nap sometime. Well, ideally we're bulking, but I haven't been doing a very good job at this past month or so. He's 
past couple weeks. Oh. You'll make a fantastic ant. I mean, I plan to compete like next year. I'm trying to make some process or some progress in the off season here. But just with all the gaming work and with Archer being a little bit sick, past couple weeks has his little cold. Um, have really make uh, schedule been kind of variable. Haven't really making a lot of progress. That's okay though. I just heard that you should avoid mixing carbs with fats for fat loss. Is this nonsense? Absolutely. People don't don't listen to anybody who says shit like that. They're just. I have no idea what they're talking about. Watch that video real quick. Your body needs a certain amount of energy. You get energy from carbohydrates, fats, and proteins from the food that you eat. If you give your body less energy than it uses, then your body will burn stored energy, which is body fat for calories. That's how fat loss occurs, right? So you need fat in your diet. You need protein in your diet. And having carbohydrates is a fantastic source of fuel for running your brain and running your body and just the energy that your body needs. It's easy to digest, it's good stuff. So ideally you do, throughout the course of your day, want a mixture of carbohydrates, fats, and protein. So, absolutely you can have carbohydrates and fat. Those are both good energy sources, but fat has the, also, it's like important for your hormones and your nerves and stuff. But carbohydrates are just a great source of energy. The idea is to get enough protein and enough fat and then enough carbohydrates to fuel what you need to do but while staying within your calorie goals, which if it's a fat loss is your goal, you need to be in a small deficit. But that video goes over the basics there for you. But yeah. You absolutely can have fats and carbohydrates together. It's just a numbers game. That's the truth of the matter, it's just a numbers game. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I definitely will. I mean, the, the intention is to bump my calories up over time, Bruno, for sure. Like I said, if I just have, if I've just been off schedule, I don't just want to eat a bunch and not be working out very much and gain fat for no reason right now. So I may as well just kind of be be eating at maintenance while I'm, you know, working out at maintenance. But yeah, I mean, my calories go up and up and up as time goes on, for sure. Definitely. I mean, like most of my bolts, I, I go, you know, I gain quite a bit of weight. <clears throat> I just need to have the training and sleep to support that kind of thing, right? And that's, I'm just, that's just not where I'm at right now. So. <clears throat> but yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. to a certain number, but usually, I mean, like, I don't usually go much past, like, 225 or 230. Carbs do spike insulin, but if you make sure your protein veggies doesn't spike, then it is bad. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing, like, wrong with your body responding to eating with producing insulin. It's not a problem. But if you don't like, you know, the high blood sugar feeling, or like, sorry, the, um, if you don't like that feeling, then you can eat more, just have to balance it out, yeah. Legion has whey, casein, and uh, plant uh, plus protein. I don't know if it has like a casein whey blend, but their casein protein is fantastic. K 
Casein is just like a slower digesting protein, but I like it a lot. It's really good. I have played Fighter Z, yeah. It's pretty fun. You can check out some of my YouTube stuff. If you're gonna get it, you should. It's awesome. Some of us can't have casein though. Uh, that don't have it, I guess, right? That don't. Yeah, I mean, if you're like lactose intolerant, you don't get casein protein. You can try their Plant Plus though, which is also fantastic. I definitely recommend the Plant Plus. On a what was me situation, it's gotta be something else. Casein is just like a different kind of whey protein. It's like a little bit thicker. Digest more slowly. I like it though. The Legion casein is fantastic. Is it amino? It's it's protein soda. Type of protein. But I mean proteins are made up of amino acids. Yeah. Yeah, but if you, if you can't have case, you don't have it. <laughs> Bummer, but oh well, you know. All good. You're not really... Not really missing out on gains, it's just... It's just good protein. I like it. The vanilla casein from Legion is fantastic. It's really good. Really good. Yeah, JD, get, just quit messing around, just get Legion. Legion makes fantastic tasting protein. Love it. And you can use our promo code for 20% off your first purchase, and then double rewards points after that. They're a wonderful sponsor. Really pumped to work with them. And they're really excited to work with us, too. We should, uh, we should do a, a giveaway today, too. We should fire off some Legion giveaways at the end of the day today. That'd be good. We'll do that. Remind me to do a giveaway at the end of today's stream. Won't take long, but we'll fire one off real quick. Protein product today, yeah. Yeah. It's just protein, man. This is a source of protein. That's all. But if you're drinking protein that upsets your stomach, you might want to get a different kind. Get a better quality protein. Without fillers and crap. I just do my own thing too. I'm doing kind of like a push pull, or like legs, push pull, push, repeat. But what it's really like is like legs, chest, back, arms, and shoulders, repeat. Let's be with it. Uh, potentially, we have we have some stuff to do in New World today. We'll see. But yeah, Path of Exile is definitely on the menu. It's something I want to get into. It's just. Gotta find the right time. But we have a war today. Then we have our chest runs later, so we'll see. We always have chest runs, but we have a we have a war to defend Everfall today. Ugh. Ice Crusher, that's a really fun build. I'm doing something sort of similar. I'm doing a ground slam jug. See how that feels. Slam but yeah, we've been wanting to get back into POE a little bit more. It's just a lot of gaming on the menu these days. I don't drink juice, not really. Not really. Just 
You just drink water. <laughs> Unless it's like, you know, this stuff needs have some protein, have some pre-workout PCAs and stuff. But don't like drinking a lot of juice. Do abs? I used to do a lot of them. I haven't been doing abs recently, but I, I'd like to do abs directly. Just haven't been making time for it. But I definitely believe in direct ab work. Check them out. And you can also find my unboxing video on my, my channel. We'll play Pulse, any of them. <laughs> I usually only really diet. I do like mini cuts occasionally, but I really only diet if I'm trying to get ready to compete. No, I mean, not, I mean, yes, there's differences, Panda, but not really. It's, most of the programs are just designed to train all your muscle groups and recover all your muscle groups over some period of time. My liking these, I wouldn't recommend them to you and I wouldn't have accepted sponsorship from them if I didn't like them, Buffalo. There's caffeine and non-caffeine. I like both of them. Because you can get, you can use the uh, non-stim to get all the pump stuff without all the extra caffeine. Yep. Because I like caffeine, I just don't need the clinical dose. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, years ago, Baby Buffalo, you know, I've used a lot of different stuff over the years. This is my favorite one, though. But yeah. You can, you can check out the unboxing video on my Gains channel if you're interested. But if you're going to get the pre-workout, I recommend you get uh, the stim and non-stim if you want caffeine. But yeah, they're, they're great. Fantastic sponsor. Really help to work with them, but yeah, we're gonna do we'll do some giveaways at the end of the day today. Maybe we'll fire off two two products for you guys. Oh. For the homie show up for the Friday afternoon games. Yeah. Hook it up. 
What do you like to do at the gym, Mega? What kind of training do you do, and what, what kind of training do you envision trying to do at your house? That'd probably be the, the thing to consider when figuring out what equipment you wanted to buy. Right? Yeah, but you can, you can progress the new program. What he was asking about was like, why people schedule your training the way you do. But yeah, I mean, tracking progress and making sure that you move forward is definitely a key on this e-program, for sure. Uh, I feel like I'm not always a good example of that, though. But whatever. You have some dumbbells you want to get started? All right, have you never worked out before? But yeah, I mean, yeah, go ahead, baby up low. I mean, I guess I was, I was answering Nate's question, but yeah, I mean, dumbbells are a fine start, sure. That's what I did when I was, you know, before, my, my, you know, before this, my whole thing set up was just, just dumbbell, home gym setup, right? <laughs> yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Want to get muscle mass essentially. So have you ever worked out before, Mega? Because you probably should start going to the gym and figure out how to, what it's like to work out before you buy a whole home gym, right? But a bench press and deadlift bar sounds great. I mean, if you if you just if you just got it like that and just want to set your whole thing up, go for it. But for that, okay. The weight training in high school, okay. So have you been training recently? I mean, like I said, if you just got it like that, and you can just shell out for a home gym to see how it goes, then yeah, I mean, set it up. But people ask me, what should I buy for your home gym? And it's like, what do you want to do at your house? You know, like, what do you want to do with your gym? I think a bench press and a deadlift is a great start, though, sure. But it just depends. But if you want to gain mass, definitely get your training in, but you got to eat, too. Gonna have to eat. For sure. Well, I'll call it worth like five miles at least, okay. Yeah, that's great. Then you're getting like good exercise during your day. Hit, hitting some resistance training and uh, getting your food up. If you haven't been training recently, you, you should expect to make some gains doing that. That sounds good. That sounds like a, like a fun time right there. Yeah, walking at work is great exercise. That's good stuff. Keep you active. But yeah, weight training and food is gonna help make some gains. Yeah, you got it, man. Got it. I think you got the right idea. If you're trying to get a bench press and a, and a deadlift, that's that's a great start. You can do all kinds of stuff with that. All kinds of stuff. Time for a little bit more. So that's gonna be a short one today, but that's all right. Okay. A uh, couple more sets. What's up, CDS?
yeah, if you guys enjoy the content, if you find it helpful to you, love to have you as a sub. You got the free primes laying around? Hit us with it. Want to show some love with the sub for the month? Hit us with it. Love to have you. Mm. Maybe I can cost a fortune? No, it doesn't. Price of beans don't cost a thing. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Rice doesn't cost much at all, man. Costs a lot less than other options. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Rice and beans! <laughs> Frozen veggies? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh. What's up, Arbrix? Somebody asked a question. <laughs> right, that prime. <laughs> yup. But yeah, rice doesn't cost that much. Pasta doesn't cost that much. Potatoes don't cost that much. Frozen veggies don't cost that much. You can absolutely get some good nutritious food. Not real expensive. Beans don't cost that much. Peanut butter and bread doesn't cost that much. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like cereal doesn't cost that much. Cereal milk doesn't cost that much. You got this. You got this. Yeah. Oatmeal doesn't cost that much. Yeah, I saw that. Thanks for the prime. Welcome back. If you refresh the stream and click share, it'll hit you with the with the uh, announcement option. Reset notification option. Yeah, oatmeal don't cost that much. For darn sure. Got some good options. For sure. Uh. Yeah. I mean, you, you can get three meals of corn, like Q-U-O-R-N, for like a couple bucks. 50 grams of protein for under five bucks is pretty good. Right? Ah. Yeah. Yup. Not to make light of anybody's financial situation, but you got options. You got options. Can be done. And you don't really need that much protein either, right? You only need about 0.6 grams per pound of lean body mass for like athletic performance and progress, so you don't really need that much protein, right? Carbs ain't cost
Yeah, I was a distance runner back in the day. Let me see, so I feel ya. I feel ya. Thankfully, as I've gotten older, maybe it's because I'm just less active, but I feel like I'm not like starving and hungry all the time. <laughs> it's actually kind of nice. I feel like I have much better like control of like how I feel, but I think the plant-based dieting has helped with that too. Let me go ahead and fire up a giveaway for us. Get this going. Let's we'll go ahead and have it throw the keyword as uh, Legion. You guys will be able to uh, enter in to win. Just start typing Legion once. You don't need to spam it or anything. One time we'll do it. There you go. Keyword Legion. That'll do it. We'll give away uh, two, two things for free. Let's see. Cool. That'll do, that'll do. I mean, I can eat a lot still, but I'm not like starving all the time like I used to be when I was younger. What's up, Archer Bros? I feel like a little more even keel. This is good. I prefer that. <laughs> Grillins, thanks so much for the private. Welcome back. At least thank you for the two months as well. Welcome back, guys. Appreciate it. And now, even if you're not interested in like, Workout supplements, you can still grab like a shaker cup just for, you know, whatever, right? And that'll be, that'll be good too for you. But shout out to our sponsor, Legion, for hooking these uh, giveaways up. They're really excited to be working together, so. They, uh, they want to hook you guys up. I just got to get in the rhythm of getting them done. Yeah. Oh. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Oof. Here we go. Get yourself entered to win. We'll roll those two codes in a second, then we gotta get rolling. I think we can get Jenny some time to do her thing today, because no preschool for Archer Roo today. All good. Yep, we're still doing our thing. 
Glad to have you guys swinging by show love. Ebbs and flows, team, ebbs and flows. We've been pumping recently though, so. Know how it is. King, King, something, man. <laughs> Am I bench for right now? <laughs> Probably not much. Most I've done recently about 275. Most I've done ever was 355, but we're pretty far off of that right now. And we are a ways away from 355 ATM. But we still got some good time for the offseason. We'll see if we can make it work. See if we can make some gains in the offseason. Not sure how many gains we've made recently, but <laughs> it's all good. That's how it goes. Kings. Big flex for you for the two months. Here. Welcome back. Make sure you get in that. If you guys have typed Legion already, you're good to go. But if you have not, you want to enter in to win a free product from Legion. Go ahead and type in the chat. Now we cook you guys up. What does the belt do? It allows you to flex your abs against the belt, which, pre which creates pressure pushing back into your body so you have like a solid muscle core. I get one. Uh, learn how to brace your core before you get a belt. But the belt can be helpful to learn how to brace, I guess, too. How do you feel about training when you're sick? Depends on how sick. I mean, going out and getting some exercise when you're just not feeling too great is good, but don't, don't go get other people sick at the gym or something like that. No. But, like, if you're feeling bad, you know, take some time to recover. Those videos actually popping off. Yeah, it's been good to see the Lost Ark videos being well received. That's good. I'm bummed we didn't get more Lost Ark going during the beta, but oh well. I can always go play on Russian servers, I guess, right? If we really, if we really wanted to. Yeah, so that's exactly right. Yeah. You basically flex your abs like you're about to get punched in the stomach. Ugh. Protects you and connects your upper lower body. But yeah, we could go play on the Russian servers, I guess. But we'll see. We'll see. Just kind of a busy week. This happened. I know. I'm excited for more New World in uh, PoE though. All right, let's go get this rolling so we can get out of here. Let's see who's trying to get some Legion loot. We'll, we'll pop off with two codes. I'm gonna whisper you if you uh, if you win, okay? So here we go. First one's going out to Zen Kings. Zen Kings, if you were here, type in the chat for me. Say what's up. And I will hit you with your Legion code and your Twitch whispers. So how, you, how this works is uh, this will provide a 100% discount to one product in a customer's cart at checkout. And it will apply to any product except for the five pound way. All right, there goes Zen King. This will be in your whispers, my man. There you go, boom. I'm drinking the rest of my Pulse pre-workout right now. Okay, here we go. Let's hit another one. Shrapsky. Let's see if Shrapsky's here. All right, Shrapsky, where you at, bro? Oh, perfect, Zen King, perfect. 
Get you started off strong with some Legion loot. Excellent. Let's see if Shrapsky's here. Yo, what up, dude? Happy to hook you up, brother man. Here we go. Fire this one off real quick. And then we are out of here. Gonna go give Jenny some time to do her thing. I'll hang out with Archer. Then I'll be seeing you guys back here around 4 p.m. PST to get ready for war, all right? Thanks for watching. Appreciate the love. We'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.